Hello and welcome to Real Hi-Fi Help. I started thinking about making a, a series about giving the people some, some proper music that they really can enjoy. Stuff that um, that we, we normally don't really uh, recognize being good. So uh, today's theme is uh, Steve Vai and some of the th songs that I... Um, think are, are really good I'm, I'm only going to play a bit of it but I'm going to leave a, a part of the picture uh, so you can find out uh, where it is on, on YouTube so um, so just look for the title and, and the guy hosting it on uh, on YouTube and uh, yeah enjoy <laughs> that he's one with the guitar. Such an artist. Oh. And it continues on. And uh, yeah, look for this video. It's a very good video. And this is from, I think, the same concert. Really good. for all of his songs. I might be wrong, but I also find that simply amazing. Uh, so many different sounds from that guitar. different one here different type it's a bit rough for Steve Vai this type of music but uh, yeah. oh, I still had some class
it's like a musical hard rock song. Need more of those. leave you with that and uh, then this one th this special version here from Carlos Aravelo this is a really good version and this is my favorite Steve Vai song it's so beautiful Absolutely amazing. <clears throat> See, rock doesn't have to be in your face and, and lacking style and, and raw. This, this musicality is just fantastic. much better from there and the last video just to end it off with I noticed that Steve Vai was just a really good down-to-earth um, hard-working guy and uh, I thought this video really um, said yeah kind of really says a lot about the the guy and, and I thought about including it even though there isn't a lot of music in it are we actually recording? Is the red light on? Is Buenos Aires going to enter into immortality? There's three things usually that I find are most, you know, the burning questions that most people have, young musicians, is, you know, one is, how do I make it in this business? How do I make a record, get it out there, and, you know, get people to hear it and get, become successful? I think the first thing is we need to identify with what it is that we really want. Because whatever it is you really want, that's what's, that's what's going to come out. Thing that you're most comfortable with that you do the best because that's what you're going to do the best you know from like me I've got strengths and I've got weaknesses I don't work on my weaknesses I ignore them and I cultivate my strengths the level of achievement that we have at anything is a reflection of how well we were able to focus on it because the only thing that's holding you back is the way you're thinking song in your head that you'd like to be able to play something that's within your reach imagine right now that song picture yourself playing it that's the first part of the exercise in achieving it now as you're picturing yourself playing it imagine what it sounds like perfect 
see and hear yourself playing it elegantly, beautifully, whether it's an aggressive metal track, whatever it is, but see yourself playing it from beginning to end perfectly with confidence. The more you're able to crystallize that vision, the more you're gonna, you're gonna become a self-fulfilled prophecy. Let's talk about practice, and let's talk about spending time to reach your goal. Because I know the complaint. We have obligations in life, we have responsibilities, we have so many other things we have to do. How do we find time to play the instrument? I recommend that you pick a time that's yours. A time where you shut off the cell phone, shut off the telephone, turn off the internet, and, uh, and sit and focus on your goal. Whenever you get discouraged, go to the big picture. Go back to that place of excitement. That's how you get through it. You go to the big picture. You go to the chief aim. Because it's so crystallized in your head that when you know, when you feel like, I, I can't do this, you know, you go back to that picture and you can see yourself doing it. It's no work. There's no work involved. Because it's all a joy. Because you know you're reaching your goal. You know what I'm saying? I never worked a day in my life in this business. I mean, with the guitar. I never struggled. Honestly, I've had a lot of challenges. I've had to, you know, I've been through a lot. But when it came to my feelings about what I do and my success, so to speak, never struggled a day in my life because for me playing the guitar was my juice So you break it down piece by piece by piece. And if it's a classical song, say, you go one bar at a time, then you go to the next bar, and you go to the next bar. Eventually, you'll be able to play through this piece of music. You won't play it great, but you'll be able to play through it. That's when you gotta stick at it, stick at it, and keep playing it. Because at first, it's getting your fingers in shape. It's getting all that. But then, once you own this piece of music, then it flows. Then, then it's like this whole other thing comes over you. It's this ability to become the music.
yeah, a great ending for, um, yeah, I think some of the best uh, rock music out there. But um, tell me what you think and uh, write your comments down below. Have a nice day. Bye.